Like and subscribe. People who take walks at night, what's the scariest thing you've seen? I once saw tiny hands reaching out of a sewer grate. Took me a minute before I realized it was a raccoon. I saw a tarantula use a crosswalk as if it was a law-abiding pedestrian. A 7 feet tall male brown kangaroo in the middle of the footpath. Buff as just staring me down. You bet you're. I turned and went the other way, he just went about his business. Was up on a hill in the countryside at midnight when a man with a rifle came out of nowhere, ran right past me, and was not seen again. I went home shortly after that. Iguana fell out of a tree on an unseasonably cool night. I have never before seen this sentence. Edit, till this is not uncommon in South Florida. Crazy. And entertaining. While I'm here, I'd like to highlight that I have been alerted to the existence of a sub devoted to the phenomenon of brand new sentences. Well alerted, thanks. Two deer fighting, then yelling at each other, then having sex. Another person walking at night. Living in a rural village I was taking a late night walk with my GF, when suddenly we hear aloud what we thought was a human scream. Turned out it was a sheep, jump scared us hard though. One time I turned around to see what was behind me just out of intuition, and I saw someone step behind the tree rather quickly and try to hide from me. I stood there for a second to confirm this, then I speed walked home. In creepy. Found the guy who hanged himself in a park. Called 911, and answered some questions, was a long night. I changed hung to hanged. Dead body on the side of the street with a sign around its neck saying I'm a cell phone thief, don't be like me. This was maybe 20 years ago in Manila, Philippines. Seeing is scary, but hearing and not seeing is. I'm terrifying. A man on a bike passed me, and he wore a jacket, shoes, and a hat, but no pants or underwear. At first I couldn't believe that I just saw his bear. Edit, typo. They saw two moons that night. A gigantic mother moose and her baby about 30 yards away. What I thought was a body in the woods, and after a bit of back and forth on the phone with the police I returned with a few helpful coppers to find a slightly missed drunk person who had had an argument with his missus. Almost 100% sure I witnessed a kidnapping. I was going to get my mail late at night, while living in an apartment complex, and on the way back I noticed a woman in her pajamas, surrounded by a few men right by a car. There was an argument, and looked like they forced her in the car and drove off, I found her slipper nearby on the grass. I of course called the police and they came, and I let them know what I saw, but I never found out what actually happened. I live out in the country, more woods and fields around me than houses. There are several dirt paths through the woods, that farmers use for their tractors and all during the day. I like to run on these paths, because it's usually quiet, and no traffic unlike the road. During the hottest part of the summer I run at night, because it's cooler outside. So one night, it had rained during the day, so all the tracks on the path were gone. I was out running around midnight. I had an uneasy feeling, but didn't see anything. But then I circled around, and on my second pass down a particular way, I saw my footprints, but then I saw another set of prints, bigger than mine, that hadn't been there before. Then I saw they made the turn the same way I had earlier. I cut it short that night, never saw anyone, but still. Wow I did not expect all this lol. Thanks for the awards. A bear right up the street, or, maybe, an empty baby carriage on the side of the road. More backpacking than a walk but this. I'm terrifies me to this day. Our planned camping spot for the night was full, when I backpacked all day, to get to, that location and there was not anywhere close, to set up our tents. 
we called our guy on the outside to come pick us up as it was getting late. We did not have anywhere to set up camp, and a storm was approaching. We hiked to the nearest exit point on the trail, met our pickup guy, and he drove us a few miles to the nearest campsite we were familiar with, that we could basically drive up to a long logging path pretty deep in the mountains, that we had hiked to in previous years, so we were kinda familiar with the area. Anyways, we hop out of the van and it is pitch black out. No moon, it is April in the mountains and still pretty chilly. We're cold, hungry, and exhausted. Fat is when we notice this mother. Her staring at us from behind a tree. I know this sounds like an Orlet story, but it is 100% true, and probably the most scared I've ever been. We notice this guy, no headlamp. No equipment, no backpack, just standing there. One of our group, former marine, yells at him to come out and explain what his deal is. This guy walks a few feet out from behind the tree and we all shine our lights on him, and I... You not. Know, this dude has white t-shirt is covered in what looks like blood smears. He has pretty rough looking, long hair, long beard, crazy eyes, and he was wearing a bloody t-shirt and shorts in 35 degree weather at night. When they're all pretty freaked out, and this is a pretty experienced group of hikers who have seen some. We ask this guy what his deal is, and he says we cannot camp here. We tell him that that is exactly what we plan to do, and he says I don't think that is a good idea for any of you. We kind of turn to discuss as a group, and when we look back he is hidden back behind the tree. As a group we basically decided none of us were getting any sleep that night, if we stayed here, so we packed up the van and left. As we were pulling out, this guy pulled out one of those red filtered flashlights, and ran after our van. I am not kidding, he followed us for at least a quarter mile on foot. He was fast as... We passed a park ranger on the road, and flagged him down, to tell him how weird, that dude was acting. And he said he would go investigate. I did not hear anything about it again for 5 years. For the longest time I thought he was probably some pot farmer who had a nearby plot, or a moonshiner who was just living in the woods and did not want us near his still. People hunt all the time out there, which would maybe explain the blood a little bit. But I was recently at an event with some of those guys again for the first time in years and that creepy dude from the woods got brought up. One of them who still lives nearby broke out his phone, and said I forgot to tell you guys, I saw him again. Pulls up a news article and there he was. So obviously the same guy. He had been arrested for murdering some poor girl on the trail. Timelines did not match up, so I fully believe we saw this guy shortly after he had murdered someone else. He has not been charged with anything else as far as I am aware. I am not backpacking without a gun anymore. I live in a country town, and I'm male, so I feel reasonably safe taking a night time or early morning, before sunrise, walk. If I see someone else we might say good morning slash evening as we pass. Never had any reason to be afraid. But one early morning I saw someone come stalking out of the trees as I walked past. It was pretty dark, so I couldn't really see much except for an outline, but I had full on spid a sense get the <laughs> out of here feeling. So I just bolted. No idea if I was actually in danger, but you gotta trust your gut on these things. This one time me and a friend were walking through the bines late late at night. He turned around for a second then goes oh and takes off running. I thought he was joking, something he's done before to get a rise out of people, but after a few seconds I did turn around and I saw a guy walking pretty fast towards us, probably about 10 feet by the time I turned around. I just took off running as fast as I could for a few minutes, and he was gone, when I turned back around. A couple years ago, I was at the start of a typical weekday night stroll. I was living in an apartment complex in Florida at the time, so it was the only opportune time to do so, without being completely drenched. The exact moment I was crossing the sidewalk adjacent to the entrance of said complex, I witnessed a middle-aged dude punch his wife slash significant other in her face, in full view of me, and another passerby. The passerby called the cops, the dude was arrested. It was not a scary situation to my own well-being, but I did find the situation chilling for one. 
how nonchalant the guy was in assaulting his wife slash so in public, and 2, how both the abuser slash so were pleading for the cops not to be called. It was domestic abuse so normalized, it happened in full public, without any second thought slash rationale. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck.